Hey guys, Pastor Mike here, uh, ready for Sunday. We're meeting at the Dobrinsky's 1030, note the change, as we move towards house church. And and um, uh, just want to kind of prep you um, that we are going to spend some time in prayer. And so we're going to gather in circles to pray. I believe that uh, before we can really move forward, that we need to regather as a body. We're going to have some worship, a little bit of the word, but we're going to spend a lot of our time in prayer. Number one, we've been scattered quite a bit this whole whole summer. And so um, we're going to come back together and just pray and pray specifically for you. So we're going to take some time to pray for one another and to lift up one another's burdens. You know, I'm reminded of um, uh, Moses when he was in battle and he was lifting his staff up. Um, and uh, there, who was beside him? There was Aaron and her. And when Moses, his, his staff would lower, they would lose the battle. When his staff was raised, they would win the battle. And beside them was Aaron and her, and they'd hold up his arms. And man, I just, I always look at that picture of what the church should be, what we should be to one another. And man, as we move forward, uh, I want to be more of that. And and I, I feel like I haven't done a great job of that um, this past summer. There's been a lot of things that have happened, um, but I, I would like to do better in that. And so we're just going to we're going to sit people in, in small groups and prayer circles in, in the Moses chair, and we're going to lift your hands up, um, your arms up in prayer. And so I just want to, to prepare you for that. And then we're going to gather for lunch. And in a way, we kind of want to model what house church is. One of the most important aspects of house church and missional communities is, is food. Not, not to make us gain more weight, but to more gain more community. And so, um, so I, I pray that you would stay. Don't, don't see that as just another thing, but that's where a lot of community happens. And so that's where the, the discussion continues. That's where um, the sermon continues, where we can discuss that. So please uh, plan on staying. 1030, Dobrinsky's bring a, bring a chair. We'll have uh, care for the kiddos, uh, birth through uh, pre-K. And so that, that's happening uh, this Sunday. Just note that change. But I, I want to kind of give you a, a taste of where we're going this month. And I feel like we almost have to rechurch our church. We have to rechurch church inside out. Again, uh, I believe one of those things is we have to abolish the three the three songs in the sermon. Um, I believe that the pulpit, to a degree, has replaced the veil that was torn when when Jesus uh, uh, was crucified on the cross. And for some reason, we've replaced. Um, there's been this this great divide between man and God, and it's that divide has been caused sometimes by the pulpit. Now, here in my heart, I believe in the teaching of God's word, but we've allowed it to be one guy to bring that word. And again, I believe in the teaching of the word, but man, um, I believe that it's time to um, set the pulpit aside. So number one, the priesthood of the believer can happen, but also that community happens and we can go after the one. And so um, so in rechurching church inside out, and it's going to, I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's been a comfortable process for me just to think through because I've grown up in traditional church and it may be a little bit uncomfortable for you. And so I just want to prepare us for the ride. And again, we're not going to do anything intentionally to make it difficult or anything like that. But through this COVID season, I think God has been saying to us, it's time to change course that it's time to get back to Acts chapter two. It's time for new wineskins. And when it comes to new wineskins, what does that mean? Number one, it means it's going to be hard. You know, with there to be new wineskins, there has to be an animal that's killed. Not that we're going to kill an animal. It has to be skinned. has to be set out. And so there's a process. And so, but I do believe it's time for a new wineskin. And I believe that uh, with us going to house church, I believe that people are going to be discipled. I think people are going to find healing. And I think the ones that are lonely, they're just kind of outskirts. They're going to find a, a home um, with with our, our church and our body. But here's here's the thing too is in rechurching church inside out is um, we have to move from discipleship as a ministry or a program to all of life discipleship. Uh, where we go from church as an event to church as a community where we move from missions and as, a, as an event to missions as a lifestyle and we live with gospel intentionality and so moving to house church is going to be very very intentional and here's the thing it's not it's not a, another bible study it's not another meeting but what it is it's the people of god worshiping god 
And so we're going to come together on mission. And that's one of the most important, significant parts of a house church and missional community is that it's not just a meeting. What sets it apart as just a meeting is that we're going to live a missional lifestyle. And I understand there's some people that don't get that. They don't want to do that. But that's who we are. That's hence the name church inside out. It's not church inside. It's church inside out. And my heart when God called us to plant this church was to not just have a um a reputation in our community but to have a, a presence in our community and and there and, and i get it there's some people don't understand that don't they don't want to do that and and uh, but that's who we are we're to, to disciple and we're to, to to go um and so a couple of things is uh this house church missional community lifestyle is we are a missional community okay uh i'm not going to apologize anymore about being missional I'm not going to apologize about going and reaching the one. I'm not going to apologize anymore about throwing gospel seeds out for the sake of those that are lost. I'm not going to apologize. That's who we are. Two is we are going to be a family community. Um, I think the Guthrie's um, uh, um, uh, model this well is that it's not just about a gathering that they do and they have done. But their 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 community is 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 a lifestyle, and so they gather not just for worship, but they give for cookouts and those things. And man, um, that's what I'm searching for. I, I don't want to just gather with people for once a week and go. That was cool. Man, I want to gather with a group of friends and family that are in this thing together. Third is we are a gospel community. The word of God, the the gospel, is centered to everything that we do. And so I want to encourage you that um, uh, the word of God is to be central uh, in, in our gospel community. Um, next is we're, we're going to be in a, an abiding community. We're going to strongly encourage you uh, to be in the word of God, to pray, to have a quiet time. And we're going to be unashamed about that uh, because we believe that's where you're going to grow. Um, again, we're going to be a discipling community and DNAs are going to be a a big part, continue to be a big part of, of our house church because that's where real discipleship is going to happen, where I can get with a group of men or Sarah can get with a group of ladies and just pour into one another. And those those stories that can be shared, those struggles can be shared, and the gospel can be shared. Um, we are going to be a um, an accountable community, and that's the thing with house church and missional communities is that we can't hide anymore. The beautiful thing about missional communities and, and our church on Sunday mornings that we've been having in house church is the one question you've heard me say this. The one question we ask is, how is God calling you to obey as a result of hearing the word? And um, I know it's hard sometimes to share that. But what has happened is every single person um, gives an invitation as a response and a response to the invitation as a result of what God has done in the heart. And it's not something that I have to cajole or pull out of people or say, hey, come to the front and, and uh, pray. No, it's interesting to see that every single person has, uh, has a, a way to obey through the week as a result of hearing the word. And so we want to be an accountable uh, community and we want to be an effective community. We don't, we don't want to be just a group of people that meet together once a month. I don't, I don't, want to, I don't have time for another meeting but what I want to do is I want to meet with Jesus above all things. And I want to meet with a group of people that love Jesus. And I want to meet and uh, love on a group of people that want to love lost people. And so, um, again, we don't have it all mapped out. And that's the cool thing about this. We're going to follow the lead of the Holy Spirit in this. And so um, it, it may be a little uncomfortable because we're so used to three songs in a sermon and we're done. But I believe that's God has a, has a, has something better planned for us, and so um, it's going to be a journey. And throughout the month, we're going to model uh, a little bit of, of ways to do house church when we gather on Sunday mornings, like for this Sunday. Um, we're going to have worship. We're going to have a little bit of the word, and we're going to pray, and then we're going to eat. And so. We want to model that authentic fellowship. We want to model that prayer. We want to model the word of God. We want to model worship. And here's the thing is, um, this is not about being a rock star. You know, in our in our house church this summer, we've we've done a lot of YouTube worship. Um, you know, Noah's played, Natalie's played. Um, but for the most part, we've, we've, we've 
done uh, worship on TV. So this is not about being perfect. It's not about uh, doing this polished program. Uh, this is about meeting with Jesus and meeting with people who love Jesus. And so uh, I'm excited about what's ahead. I'm a little, I'll be honest, a little nervous because it's different. And um, the difficult thing has been is people, and I put this on my Facebook, people don't think what I think I know what I'm doing. I'll be honest, I don't a lot of times, but I do follow the lead of the Holy Spirit. But a lot of people are, uh, their metric is the old school system of how many people are here, what's our budget, and how many programs we have. That's the metrics, the old metrics. And and if we, uh, if you base my job performance on those three things, you're right. I, I, I'm not a great pastor, but that's not what we're trying to accomplish. What we're trying to accomplish is equipping the body of Christ to be the body of Christ so that others can be in the body of Christ. And so there's going to be new metrics. There's going to, uh, and I really don't like that word, but, um, but uh, I want to be effective for the kingdom above all. And so again, I'm excited about this. Um, and I, I hope you are too. And just, um, be patient in the process, be patient in the journey. But I really believe that the ones who are on the fringe, they're going to come to know Christ. I believe those that are already in our gathering are grow deeper in their walk with Christ. And I believe that God's going to call some, some uh, people uh, called Church Inside Out to make a difference in our communities. And I'm praying for you. Love you. God bless you. Bye.